Okay, here we have a short video called Opposite Values Combined to Make Zero. First thing is we're going to ask what an opposite value is. Let's look at a couple of examples and see if we can figure it out. Minus 1 and plus 1. Minus 250 and plus 250. Negative 3.5 and positive 3.5. Negative one-half and positive one-half. Each of those pairs are opposite values. Now, just so that we understand that 250 and 1 over 250 are not opposite values. Those are reciprocals. Negative two-thirds and a positive three-halves. Those are not opposite values. They're also not reciprocals. And for what we're doing today in, in the uh, activity, we need to remember the rules for adding integers. A positive plus a positive is a positive. 5 plus 6, both are positive numbers, and it equals positive 11. A negative plus a negative is a negative. Negative 5 plus a negative 6 is negative 11. And there's one more rule. A negative plus a positive or a positive plus a negative. You're going to subtract as you normally would without the signs, the larger number minus the smaller number. And then you're going to take the sign of the larger integer. So you're going to look at negative 5 plus 6. You're going to subtract as you normally would. 6 minus 5, and you get 1. How do you determine if it's positive or negative? You go back to the original problem, and you say, all right, which one of those numbers of the values, which one is the higher number, and what is its uh, sign? So 6 is the bigger number, and its sign is positive, so therefore negative 5 plus 6 is positive 1. 5 plus negative 6 is a negative 1. Subtract as you normally would, 6 minus 5, and you get 1, just like in the first example. But this time the number's negative because the bigger number, 6, is negative in the original problem. So negative 11 plus 6 is negative 5. 11 minus 6 is 5 without the signs. And then the sign of the solution, negative, is because 11 is negative, and that's the bigger number. 11 plus negative 6 equals 5. 11 take away 6 is 5. And we know that 11 is bigger than 6, and so it's positive. Therefore, the answer is positive. But here's what we're really trying to get at. Opposite values combine to make 0. And remember that 0 is neither positive nor negative. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 and positive 1 are opposite values, and when you add them together, you get 0. You can look at these other examples. We showed them a few slides ago. Negative 250 plus 250 is 0. Negative 1 half plus a positive 1 half. Those combine to make 0 because they're opposite values. 3.5 plus negative 3.5. If I start at 3.5 positive and I take away 3.5, I end up with 0. 1,000 plus its opposite value of negative 1,000, it's 0. 3 quarters plus negative 3 quarters equals 0. Can you come up with some real-world examples that where this property would apply? This property is called the additive inverse property. Well, let's take a look at a few examples. Here's an American football game going on. And you see the blue team is at, neg is at 10 yards. So if on this play they had get a gain of 10 yards, where are they going to end up? They're going to end up at the 20-yard line. Okay, next play coming up. Oops, all of a sudden there's a 10-yard penalty. They have to go back 10 yards. So where does that put them? Puts them right back where they started. They started at the 10-yard line. They went up to the 20-yard line. And then they lost 10 yards. They're right back where they started. Positive 10 plus negative 10, a gain plus a penalty, 0. 
Let's take the dog for a walk. We walked the dog a quarter mile north from home, and then we walked the dog back. All the way back home, quarter mile south. Same path, same direction. So we went a quarter mile north from home, and then we went a quarter mile south, right back to home. We ended up right back where we started. So the positive one quarter plus the negative one quarter, zero. Takes us right back to where we started. Let's look at temperature. We're at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. A change in temperature that brings us from 50 degrees all the way down to zero. What happened here? What is the change in temperature? The change in temperature, it went down minus 50 degrees. It started at plus 50 degrees. We went back down 50 degrees. Where are we? We're right at zero. Opposite values combine to make zero. And here's the last example. Supposing we go to Sherry's clothing store and we return a bunch of items that we bought last week. We get a $150 credit for those items on our bank ledger. And then we run over to BJC Electronics and whoa, we found this awesome set of earphones. We purchased it for $150. That's going to show up as a debit on our checking ledger minus $150. So what happened here? We started in our bank account. We had $200. We got a credit for $150. So now we have $350 to spend. We went out and spent $150. And we're right back where we started. Opposite values combine to make zero. Positive 150, negative 150, it's zero. And that's why we're right back where we started. Well, that ends this very short video on opposite values combined to make zero. I'm sure you can come up with a whole bunch of examples of applying the additive inverse property in real life. Enjoy the activity.